within the communities, um, it is my opinion that many people are stalked. Now the stalking happens on multiple levels. One form of the stalker is in fact a member of the HOA. They're driving up and down there and there's that weed and there's that, there's that, there's that. The other stalker, the management company. Remember, they're not making any money unless they can get some fines out there. They're driving the community. The form of that stalking can come out in letters. Let's keep those letters going, keep them going. But there's another stalker in the neighborhood that you don't know about. And it could be you. And here's how it happens. You get a letter in the mail and it talks about the pot on your front porch. And you stand on your front porch and you say, well, this pot's been here for years. What in the world's going on here? I'll bet it's them. I'll bet they did it. And now the paranoia starts. And so what you do is you write a letter to UHOA and you complain about the plant on the side of their house. And now they get a letter. And they go outside and they'll say, what the heck? I'll bet it's them. And it goes on and on throughout the neighborhood. And the management companies and the collection companies are laughing because now they don't have to go out and inspect you. You simply do it for them. And they send letters based on what you sent. What is it about us human beings that can't leave each other alone? I've yet to figure this out. Although as it's one of my primary interests in research is why is it that we have to pick on each other? Why can't we let each other be? History shows this, that this is not new to us. That country after country will invade another country, even though those countries are doing fine, suddenly they want more and more and more and greed. And yet we moved into this neighborhood to be at peace. Why can't we be at peace? 